Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you and as you can see I am out of the house today and I'm bringing you the fitness video of the month. As I'm doing with restaurants I want to review one restaurant every month. I'm also going to review one gym or gym chain in Munich specifically and take you along, take you to my workouts, show you how the gyms are so that you have a chance to see it and if you are currently looking for a new gym then I think this is a great way for you to see kind of what Munich has to offer, how much it costs, where it is, etc. I'm very lucky to have QualiTrain membership through my work and if you don't know what QualiTrain is, it's like a, basically like a gym pass or class pass app and I'm able to go to a lot of different gyms actually throughout whole Germany. So I have a unique opportunity to test out a lot of these gyms and show you how they are and kind of give you my opinions as a gym junkie I think I am qualified for it. Today I'm starting with a pretty low cost gym which is Cleverfit. The gym that I'm going to be testing out today is Cleverfit in Neuaubing so it's on the west side of Munich. You can get there by S-Bahn either with Neuaubing or Freiham station and it's like between 5 to 10 minute walk from each one. It's kind of between both stations. So it is quite convenient to go. For parking they have um, one and a half hours free parking and if you get like a Clever Fit sign I think it's up to three hours for free. So Clever Fit is actually a gym chain. There's a lot of different gyms in and around Munich. You can choose the best location according to where you live of course. But as it is January of course they have a lot of different offers. The one offer that they sent me to become a member was $19.90 a month all inclusive with drinks and solarium so I think it's very affordable. So yeah I think we got the basics out of the way. Let's hit the gym. I'm excited for this new series. I hope again that this is useful. I'm excited to train in different gyms and see what they have and maybe I find my so to say go-to gym that I will choose for most of my days. So let's go. I'm pumped. I'm motivated. I have a full body day today. So as you can see again a reminder do not forget to put a watch because I have gotten a fine here before and it is extremely annoying to get one just for not putting a clock so this is a friendly reminder do not forget it. Something that I like about this location is that nearby there is a netto so you can go grocery shopping there is a new happy rolls sushi place there is a Rossmann and overall it has like a huge parking lot so again you can kind of do everything on the go if you need to buy something I mean Today is a Sunday, as you can see everything is closed and they even have a huge erotic shop <laughs> if you're into that.
right, so the workout was done. I just got in the car, as you can see. Let's go to my final thoughts. Let's go to my, like, you know, actual review of the gym. I think the price of the gym for what it offers is really great. No matter whether you take the special offer or the regular offers, I think the most expensive it is is 35 euros a month, which is still really, really affordable in my opinion. They have a lot of different machines, whether you want to do free weights, whether you want to do you know, actual machines, they have a lot of cardio machines as well. And although I do have to say that the gym is always packed, no matter when I come unless it's really like 6 a.m. Of course, it's a sign that it's good for people, but yeah, sometimes it is annoying because it is quite packed. But at the same time, as I said, they have so many different machines that you never have to wait too long. So I think it's still totally fine. The vast majority of customers are males. I think gyms in Germany in general are dominated by men more than women. I'm not sure if women are more intimidated. Personally, to me, it doesn't make a difference. I mean, I'm there to work out and I don't really care who's there and what they are doing. You also have a lot of free space for yoga or stretching or whatever it is. So again, I think that's a great option. The dressing rooms are fine. The showers are good. Unfortunately, they don't have a sauna or any like wellness kind of uh, offers. Personally, I love that option when I go to the gym. So for me, that's slight minus, but again, you get what you pay for. So for the price, it is totally fine. They often are situated in places where there are not many other gyms. So I think that is again a bonus depending on where you live. If you're not in the city center, you might have a clever fit somewhere next to you. So definitely have a look. I would overall rate this gym four out of five stars. I think it's affordable. I think you can work out great. I mean, nothing stopped me from working out today. I had all the machines available. I had everything that I needed and uh, I got a great workout in. And yeah, why I'm not giving it five stars is just because I got a little bit spoiled over the years and I prefer to have a bit more space, a bit less people, and I really love having a wellness area, at least sauna. But if you don't care about these things, I mean, if you don't even shower, you know, a lot of people just go home and shower at home, then I think this gym is perfectly good for your everyday needs to get moving, to get active, to get healthy. And at the end of the day, that is most important. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this video was useful and entertaining at the same time. Let me know which other gyms I should test out. I'm always open for suggestions. But uh, yeah, thank you so, so much. And I will see you again in next week's video, which will be a lifestyle video. Bye bye.